I'm Doth Savick, and this is the new G Series bag from Grip. This bag costs a hundred dollars, and it weighs one kilo. It's just heavier than the Prodigy BP3, and just a touch lighter than the Upper Parks Shift for comparison, weight-wise. This is a single strap bag, carry over the shoulder. It's also got a haul loop if you want to hold it by that. I have already unclipped these so I can just slide them off real quick and get rid of that strap. That'll make it a little bit easier for me to show you the rest of this bag. We'll get that strap back on and talk about it later. I've got the bag set up with 10 discs in it right now. I had been carrying 11 for the most part and honestly it just feels a little bit too packed with 11 discs in there so I had to I had to pull one out. I was carrying two putters in the top pocket and then uh, three mids in this middle sleeve. I pulled one of my putters out and moved a mid up top and it fits so much better that way. There's just not quite as much pressure on everything. Maybe if it broke in uh, over a year's use or so, then I'd get that extra disc back in there without feeling like it was really, really packed. Five drivers down in the main section one driver in the front sleeve. This elastic is stretchy enough that I could fit a mid here if I wanted to. The putters you can see I've got popping up pretty high out of that putter pocket and that's because I've got a towel stuck underneath them which is a, just an extra spot for me to keep something. I, I always like to have a towel with me. If you didn't have a towel in there then the discs do sit low enough that they're underneath the zipper and this is kind of the quiver style pocket that Grip has on their other bags as well. So we can go in and uh, pinch this piece and pull that up to make our putters sit higher. If we don't want like a towel under them, but we still want them to sit high enough, we can easily grab them. That's how you do that. And that pocket's big enough, you can tuck the tail in there or even poke a little something extra inside there if you wanted. One of the first things I noticed the first time I had this bag out was that this haul loop was annoyingly stiff and it was just poking me right in the side. You know, this sits on my left hip, I'm carrying it on my left shoulder most of the time, and uh, I just felt that poking right up against my rib cage, which is really annoying. You can roll it both ways, um, it's even worse if it's that direction. When I got home, I ended up taking that piece and folding it inside the putter pocket and I left it sit like that overnight and the next time I carried the bag out uh, then that that handle was happy to sit much more straight up without poking me in the side and then it kind of worked its way down over a couple days because I hadn't tucked it back in but if you stored it like that for a while or maybe you'd have to always stick your discs in like that it'll get that handle off of your side so it's not it's not poking into you this is the quality of material and workmanship that you'd expect from grip. All of the zippers are really high quality. All of the fabrics used are great. The stitching just looks perfect. I haven't found like any hint of flaw with with any of the fabric there. There's does have a lot of layers to the fabric and there's quite a few plastic panels in this bag as well. That's what gets its weight up there even though it's smaller than those other two bags that I mentioned. It's, it's right up there weight-wise because of all those, extra, all those extra panels. It's got hard plastic in the back. It's got a hard plastic insert on each side. Then this sleeve right here, which is actually Velcroed in and removable, it has two hard plastic inserts in it as well. Our main cover, which I've got zipped in here, it's really cool that they have sewn it so it's this really nice dome shape. You can see the curvature in that panel that they cut. So even without zipping it down, it acts as a nice little rain shield. You know, if you're starting to get sprinkled on or whatever, you can just pop that out and it'll it'll cover your cover your discs right away. And then it does tuck in here pretty well. It doesn't bother me much, uh, although it really does push push on those discs just a bit. Our main kind of storage is on the on the back of the bag. This uh, zippered compartment here. Once I pull that flap down, actually, I'm just going to pull this out. I've got 
Just a little zippered bag in there to keep a bunch of doodads in. I got bug spray, sunblock, um, dog poop bags. I forget everything I put in there, but it's easier for me to swap that back and forth than have all those little things being loose. This compartment is a completely soft piece of fa fabric inside, so it'll expand as I keep jamming more stuff in there. And when that piece of fabric is pushed out to the extreme, that, that pocket comes in on an angle uh, about that far. So it really pushes right up against the bottom edge of the discs that are in this main compartment. I know it's a little bit hard to see inside here, so I thought that would be a good way to show how much space there is. I brought a, I grabbed the jacket here. I actually haven't tried to fit this one in yet. I did have a, a rain jacket in here for one round. And you can see once you start really filling that up, then the pocket's sort of bulging out and I'm pushing against the discs in the main compartment. I'm pushing against the edge of those discs with this jacket. But I can fit a lot of stuff in there and still get that closed. This padding is going to start to bulge out further, so it's going to carry a little bit different on your hip if you're packing it that full. But in a pinch, there's quite a bit of room. If you need a jacket with you, this maybe just isn't the right bag to carry. You might have been better off with a little bit bigger bag if you're you know, dealing with some varying weather. On the front panel here, once you fold that down, there's a, a zippered pocket that goes all the way down. That's perfect for like even a large cell phone fits in there and then it's padded against, uh, against my hip. Here, I'll show you with my, my phone going in there, no problem. And that can then zip closed. And then just below that zipper, there is another piece of fabric run across that's mesh and it's sewn in the middle right where my finger is and the top of it's the top of it's elastic so i've got two mini elastic pockets there that are both you know just slightly larger than credit card size or something so if i wanted to slide in you know a, a set of keys into one of those pockets they'd fit just fine If you can see that, then that's divided from the from the main cavity there. I've actually just been using the key keeper here and clipping my keys to that, and then just stuffing them inside. It makes it a little bit easier for me to know where they're at and get them out. It's a neat, a really neat pocket idea. Uh, I think it's it's just about the perfect size for the bag, and you really can you really can store quite a bit of stuff in there. Although it's not the easiest thing to like see inside of, so you kind of got to know where your stuff is at. If you dump a bunch of loose things in there, you're going to have a little bit of trouble finding them. Moving on to the side storage, we've got zippered pockets on both sides. They've sewn us a pencil pocket, which is just perfect to carry two pencils in. On this side, they've set it up as their scorecard keeper. This, this pocket has a little ma magnet on there, so it wants to snap closed. Just such a cool idea, just the simplest little thing, but it's really neat to help pinch your scorecards so they're not likely to blow away. You stick your cell phone in there, it also fits really well. Uh, not that that takes advantage of the magnet any, but it also won't hurt or scratch anything because the magnet's under fabric. With this unzipped, one notable thing is that zipper doesn't stop at the corner. It keeps going all the way uh, under that edge, which is really neat. With that zipper going that far, it makes it a lot easier for this pocket to flap open. And then they've put in a really thick, stretchy fabric, which carries all the way down through the bottom of the pocket. And I really like that fabric in there. It's thick enough that I have like no concern of cutting holes, even if I drop keys in there. And if you throw a bunch of small items like that, you don't have to be worried that they're going to fall out because that fabric comes up so high that things aren't just going to bounce out of there. It's not the kind of pocket where you need to zip it close every time you pull little things in or out. And sometimes I'm leaving that zipper at the corner if, if I just need to, you know, reach in there and I'm dropping things back and forth. It is stretchy enough to put a water bottle in there as well. 
I know I keep see people ask is a fiddle fit an Nalgene or not, and it does. It will stretch that far, but it's a stretch. It's a stretch to get it in there. That's probably going to put enough pressure that this outer pocket changes a little bit how how what things you could fit in there. Like I've got a, a hard, a stiff scorecard, and if I was trying to put in a bottle that thick, then it might affect my ability to use that pocket and put a hard scorecard in there. What fits much better is a bottle like this. This is a one one liter. That's real easy, and it doesn't it doesn't take two hands for me to put it in like it does with the Nalgene size bottle. You can even fit two 12, 12 ounce cans in there. Just slide that one back, and the second one will go in right next to it. So you can fit two two cans in that side pocket. And then the other side is almost identical. The, uh, the only difference over here is that this pocket doesn't have the magnet in it. Otherwise, otherwise it's just the same. So you can really carry a lot of fluid with you in this bag if you need. And it really pushes the profile of the bag out. You know, it suddenly, suddenly looks quite a bit larger when we're pushing out those side pockets like that. I've really enjoyed carrying this bag. It's been a little bit of a challenge for me to narrow my discs down that far. I'm not used to running around with that few of discs, but it's kind of a fun challenge and it feels just super lightweight. You know, I have no problem running around or whatever. Um, it's, it's neat to have such a lightweight bag like that. Uh, I don't know about the price. That's hundred bucks, pretty hard to justify. I think there's so many other bags that are similar size and cost less. But if you are going to put this size of bag through a whole lot of use, then you're quite possibly going to wear through some of those cheaper bags. I, you know, people keep talking about having worn through other bags in 18 months or whatever. And this just isn't going to happen. This is this bag will last you for a decade or or more. You know, they're given a lifetime guarantee on it, so they they certainly are confident that it'll last a long time. About the only thing I could see f starting to fail and wear would be that, that stretchy fabric, which is tucked in these side pockets. That's the, the same fabric that's right on this outer lip here to help this disc pocket be a little, a little bit more stretchy. It's really thick stuff, and like I have trouble see, seeing even like really nasty thorn bush grabbing it. You know, the thorns would penetrate, but I don't think they're gonna tear. They're just gonna poke through and then and then come right back out. Let's go back to this strap really quick. I haven't carried a single strap bag in so many years that I'd kind of forgotten. But it started bugging me after carrying this one for not too long. One of our courses has like the cottonwood trees, the fuzz that is just everywhere right now and every time I set this bag down this strap just wants to hit the floor and it is just collecting debris and that's not something you really have to worry about with backpack straps you know with your backpack straps yeah the bottom of your backpack strap might be near or touching the ground but for the most part they're just held up and and this thing is not it just kept dropping and it bothered me enough I started thinking about it I start setting my bag down and trying to balance it uh, up on top so that it's not sitting in the dirt or grabbing stuff and getting dirty. And then that made me appreciate how this piece does want to stick out. Even though it was jabbing me in the ribs, uh, it gave me a nice little spot to drop that piece down. And then I had the thought to use a retractable keychain. Uh, and that's what I've carried on it ever since. I just clipped this dude in here and I've got a little ring on there and I threaded that ring through so that it would hold that strap up. Let me actually grab... Let me grab a small carabiner real quick so I don't have to thread this thing through. But I'll show you how it works. So when I pick that bag up, it just instantly extends. And it being on the left side of the bag, that doesn't, that doesn't even hit my elbow or anything when I'm going to swing it over the shoulder. 
that litty, little mini line is just totally out of my way. I don't feel it rubbing at all. And then every time I set the bag down, it just pulls my strap there and it'll hang. Of course, my carabiner's letting it fall even a little bit further away, but if I had that directly connected, then it wants to sit right up here. It has that range of movement, but it can't fall into the dirt. So it's always popped up there, acting like a grab handle, real easy for me to pick the bag up. And it's total, it's silent. There's almost no noise, like nobody's noticed that I've had that on my bag from hearing it zip back and forth. So that's something to consider. Um, get yourself a little retractable keychain piece and nice little quality of life improvement on the bag. That's pretty much it. This uh, pocket that I've got two mids in, it is a Velcroed insert. I took it out just a little bit of go once I realized it was Velcro, and it was a pain to get in and out of there. I considered pulling that out so you guys could better see what's really going on in the bottom of the bag, but it's too much work to satisfy your cur curiosity. It doesn't really matter. I think all that you need to know is you know, the visualization of the five discs or four, however many you have in here, come down to this point. And right there is also then on an angle where that lower back pocket comes into play. Uh, and then at that angle, we've also got our two mids that are coming down and hitting the top. So there's, there's just like no wasted space in this bag between being able to utilize that pocket on the back the main disc storage, uh, the secondary storage, and then the putter pocket on top. It's, it's really uh, designed extremely well, in my opinion. And the fabrics are just the best. The stitching is great. Yeah, it's, you can start to justify the $100 price tag, uh, although that is an awful lot of money to spend to carry around 10 discs. So, I don't know. I think the colors are pretty sweet. I really like this bag. I don't think I'll keep it, though. They're... I think I'd just rather have two strapped, is what it comes down to. There's a number of other super lightweight bags that carry this many discs, maybe one or two more, and have better storage if I, you know, really need to carry a larger jacket and, you know, a few other things. So... Once you get into that little bit extra weight range, the second strap comes into play. And, you know, I, I've seen pictures of people putting quad shocks on this bag as well to get the extra strap, but that doesn't help with a little bit extra storage, you know. This is kind of a, just a unique size that I'm not sure how many people it's going to be right for. Uh, like one comment I got playing uh, doubles was that this was the perfect bag to take out for like a trilogy challenge. You know, the different two or three discs challenges or whatever, you don't want to carry your full bag around when you can't throw all the discs in it. Something, a bag of this size would just be just perfect for that. Um, or any quick grounds. If you're, I don't know how many people run through courses. You know, back when I started, there was a couple guys that really liked to jog. They would just jog constantly, stop when they get to the tee pad and throw. When they were throwing an upshot or putting, they'd hardly even take their bag off. And this is about what they were using. It's a you know a shoulder bag of this size. This would be perfect for that. It's definitely better than a backpack bag if you're going to go jogging through a course. But hopefully uh, this has helped give you some insight as to what this bag's all about, what it's capable of. And uh, if you got any other questions, leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it.